Uh, we know that for space curve, there, there, there's a unit tangent vector. If the curve is, has the equation r equals r t or r s, uh, we know that the the space curve have has space curves have a unit tangent vector. T equals dr, let's use the derivative. The derivative of rt over its length or t, use the uh, arc length parameter, it's the derivative of s. Because the arc length, we know that if R is uh, parametrized uh, by arc length, its derivative is a, a unit vector. We call this unit tangent vector. And now we have another concept that uh, if this is A, this point is A this point is B. We know that that uh, the B is bending much, much more than A. So we have another concept that is curvature. Curvature is, measure, uh, is to measure how much the space, uh, the, the space is bending at that point. From here, if we uh, use the same lens, then the unit tangent vector from here to here. Uh, this is T. Maybe we call T S. This is a T S plus delta S. Then its difference, if we move the T S plus delta S to the same point, to the same start point with, uh, T, uh, with Rs. Then its difference, its difference, Rs plus delta S of T, Ts plus delta S minus t s uh, at, at point a is much less than point b here here's here is the unit tangent tangent vector and it is to the same arc length the tangent vector change more than s that's r t plus delta uh, s plus delta s minus r uh, t minus t s so the difference the length of the di di difference uh, measure measures how much the the space at that at that point but we use the same use the same uh, arc length so divide by arc length and take the limit delta s tends to zero uh, if they, they have the same uh, arc length then uh, at point b is bending much more than than h than a so we defined this as the curvature this is the curvature at s point as point s and this actually the left the left hand the left hand side is actually the dt ds 
dt ds then take the absolute value uh, take, take the uh, length that's the that's the curvature we call this is the curvature of r s h point s this is the curvature because for, from the geometric meaning this uh, the curvature measures how much is bending but how much is, uh, the curve is bending at that point is actually the uh, the difference be, uh, the the uh, the derivative of the unit tangent vector because the ten, uh, unit tangent vector at the each point has length one so how it changes as t s plus dot s as t s so uh, if the difference between t s plus dot s uh, is bigger then it's bending bigger uh, it's bending much more so that's the definition of curvature actually uh, we know that t is the derivative of rs so the ks can also write as the second the second derivative of rs the length of the second derivative of rs use use the uh, arc length parameter that's the curvature and the uh, the third concept is uh, called unit normal vector or sometimes we uh, call it the principal unit normal vector we know that the uh, the uh, unit tangent, tangent vector has a uh, uh, length always one so we know that uh, dt ds dot t is zero they are per perpendicular so we uh, we take a unit vector at the dt ds we call this a uh, normal vector unit normal vector that's dt ds over its length because dt ds is the second derivative of rs that is second derivative of rs over the length of second derivative of our rs because the second the length of second derivative is the curvature so n is also right as the second derivative of rs divided by k that's the unit normal vector <coughs> now let's uh, take an example to uh, compute the curvature and uh, uh, unit uh, normal vector suppose rt equals a cosine t i plus a sine t j plus b t k find uh, curvature and uh, unit vector uh, unit uh, normal vector of RT because the RT and the the the, uh, the curve is uh, param uh, parametrized by the general general parameter T it's not uh, parameter, uh, 
parameterized by the arc length. So we need to use arc length to compute its curvature and uh, unit normal vector. So the, the first step is re-parameterized re the curve by arc length. We know that the derivative of RT is negative A sine T, A cosine T, and B. The length of the derivative is square root A square uh, sine T square plus A square cosine t square plus b square that is square root a square plus b square so we know that uh, st from st is integral from 0 to t it will always start from uh, 0 uh, for just for simply uh, for simplicity, that's r the the length or the derivative that is square root a square plus b square t. So t equals s over square root a square plus b square. So the uh, R can be write as R S reparameterized re re by the R length. That is A cosine S over square root A square plus B square as I plus A sine S over square root A square plus B square plus b s over square root a square plus b square then the first derivative of s is the unit tangent vector that is uh, square root a square plus b square of a there's negative sine s over square root a square plus b square and plus a over square root a square plus b square that's cosine s over square root a square plus b square and plus b over square root a square plus b square that's unit tangent vector and the second derivative The second derivative is uh, negative a square plus b square as a cosine s over square root a square plus b square as i as g as k sorry as i and minus minus square root, uh, there's no square root here, that's a square plus b square, a sine s over square root a square plus b square, and uh, 0 k. And then check this length of the second derivative. That is the k s. So that is square root. Actually, there is uh, there is common factor. A, a over a square plus b square. That is a over square root a square plus b square. Oh, there's no square root. over a square plus b square and then take the 
that's cosine takes square root a square plus b square as square plus sine square over of s over square root a square plus b square as takes square root. So that's actually as a over a square plus b square. That's the curvature. And the unit normal vector, the n, that is r, the second derivative of rs over ks, that's actually is negative cosine square root a square plus b square s i plus uh, that's negative that's minus uh, sine s over square root a square plus b square j there's no k because k is zero that's that's the uh, computation for a uh, curvature and uh, normal vector we use uh, we use the uh, the method to re represent uh, uh, by Arclands. It's easier to compute the curvature and uh, normal vector. Okay, now that's the first example. And there's another another concept as as us. Uh, oscillating oscillating circle what is oscillating circle o o oscillating circle Os oscillating Oscillating circle. If uh, suppose this is RS, that's RS. This point is RS. This point is origin. Then is at this point there is a circle. There is a circle. This is a circle. This is an. What is os oscillating circle? It, which is circle? Uh, with radius uh, r equals 1 over ks and the center center is uh, on the center is uh, on the direction at n from This, the center, uh, the center, R we we call it, this point is R C as that is R S plus uh, plus uh, this R. This maybe we call this rho S. Maybe it's easier. It's rho S plus rho S times n. That is the center is on the on the direction of n from this point. Uh, 